Hello guys, welcome to my fourth tutorial. Uh, in the previous tutorial, we covered how to preserve the session upon a refresh and uh, basically login in. Um, in this tutorial, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually um, log out and be, and uh, once you log in and log out, uh, you can be visible to other users. Um, and this would be kind of like an introduction to the chatting that uh, I'm going to create in the future. So if you stay tuned with these tutorials, uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, how, how can you use a chatting uh, option with Singular. And then eventually I think I'm going to head into the direction of uh, using the WebRTC and uh, showing how to audio and video chat. But before we get to that, um, let's uh, get on the this tutorial. Um, before we start, we should create another user here. So we have John Smith, I change uh, password to user and pass one, and then we have Mary James, just be user two and pass two. Uh, once you do that, uh, we can start doing the client side. All right, so first things first, well, we have to create a user class that would kind of uh, be useful for manipulating the current user and uh, seeing other users. So we have ID, which is the person ID, name, which is the person's name, and then connection ID. Uh, this will be useful later. This is basically the same as Signal ID of the user. So we'll get back to that. Uh, the second thing would be to, from uh, the server, once we log in, to receive a user class. So user, type user. This will get changed to user, and uh, here we will set the user.id. Uh, and we have the person. No. Oh, we actually won't be needing this. We'll create user data and we'll assign to that. This user data will be a new variable right here, and there will be a type of user. Okay, so now we're to that, back to that point. Uh, I'll copy this and paste it down here, and we do the same thing. Type user. So this is complaining, we don't need that. And here in the home page, I'm gonna copy some structure that we wrote. This is gonna be given a couple of hours, but we'll fix that right away. Um, the first thing I'm gonna display just like before, welcome. Then uh, by the end of that column, or by the end of that row, I'm gonna add a, um, a logout button. And uh, right here, we would uh, display the list of all the users. So first things first, I'm gonna implement the logout function. And the logout function would be, what is the login function? That would be the invocation. Uh, we will log, yeah, invoke the logout function and pass our user ID, which is the person ID. And here we will create a listener that would listen to this event once it logs out. And all we're gonna do is just remove this from the local storage, the person ID that we already saved, and then do a reload. Um, another method you can use that I'm not gonna use here is a uh, hub connection stop, which stops the hub connection. But the reason I'm not doing this is because once I do the page reload, it actually clears out everything, so this is not needed in this case. Uh, let's see, next thing, we have the users. And uh, users would be the new array of users. I'm gonna create all the variables here. Uh, and import that, and that would be array of users. That's good. The next part would be to create 
our users on and users off listener. So user on listener will be listening for all the incoming users. Uh, every time a new user comes in, I'm gonna console log it and then push it onto the new users array, or actually the users array that I just created. Um, every time a user logs off, uh, they would uh, filtered out and basically remove that user from the list. Uh, next thing would be to get a list of the online users. So that would look something like this. And that's basically simple invocation. And once we receive that, we would have our get online users response and that would basically overwrite this uh, users array that we created. So I believe the client side is finished. Um, we can always come back. Oh yeah, we have to call these listeners. So call the listeners and invocations. And uh, I'm gonna add a comment here explaining, but I believe I explained this before. If uh, if it's in state one, that means hub connection is established. This is mainly on the refresh. So if the connection is already established, we would populate the online users. Um, and basically this would put the new users, actually the online users in the users array. And uh, if it's not online, uh, we would subscribe to this event and once this thing fires from the hub start connection, uh, it will basically run the invocation and uh, populate on the, all the online users. So for the server side, we're gonna have um, also a user class. I'm gonna add it right under this one. The user class would have the ID, name and connection ID, just like the one on the client. Make sure the variables and uh, data type match. Uh, GUID uh, can actually match a string on the client side. So if you have uh, this ID as a string, that should be fine, that parses it. Um, I'm also creating a constructor that's gonna take uh, some ID, name and connection ID and just create a new object. So once we have that, uh, let's start by modifying our auth me. Before we used to send a temp ID temp person, but since we're now expecting a user, uh, we would need something, uh, some new user here. So let me actually just change this. And we will also call this. As you can see, this is actually doing almost the same thing, but it's actually doing to others. Others means it's sending um, this handler and like fires an event to all the all the people except for the yourself or the caller. So as you do clients dot caller, basically the difference is uh, this one is sending to just like if you type to all except yourself which means you can just put the others and uh, we'll send in the new user so I'm gonna create a new user right here and that's basically it we're creating a new user with the temp person ID name and single R and then we're sending it to the client We'll do the same thing down here. Okay, so this is almost done now. Uh, the only thing that's missing is uh, SignalR's uh, default override. So if you type here, override and do tab space, 
you can see on disconnect do a tab that would create this general structure so the first thing I'm going to do is actually get the current uh, user ID um, that's done with this query we're going to have connections find the signal ID the signal ID where it matches the current ID and get only the person ID. From that point on, um, I'm going to remove all of it. So, like, there's different ways you can handle, but like, I'm going to remove every single connection that has the person ID. And then afterwards, I'm going to save the change and finally fire an uh, event that would be the user off, which will tell all the other users. To, uh, to let them know that I basically disconnected and like to filter me out from the user array, online user array. So the next thing would be uh, to get the online users and uh, the way you can handle this and uh, this is my approach, I'm not sure if there's a better way but like uh, what I found to work out the best for me is actually to create a partial class so you know how on angular client you always have uh, modules different modules for different things um if you're using the same hub um, i think it's a good idea to make this a uh, partial class and then split each partial class into its own uh, each module into its own partial class so if this becomes a partial class then we will create a new class here let's call it chat chat.cs and then once we're here we can actually just write this partial class my hub and then I'm gonna create a function that will be public or it public async task get online users so here I'm gonna get the same uh, the same way I'm gonna get the current user ID and from that, on, that point on uh, this might be slightly complicated query at least it looks on the first sight so we would import this and we would basically go through the connections table find all the people that are not the current user and then from that point on uh, we would select using link queue and put this into basically create a new object with that person's ID uh, find that person's ID name I'm sorry find that person's name using the person ID that's this guy and the last piece of the user constructor would be the signal connection and we're putting all of it into a list and then Finally, we would send that list to the client. This is missing a wait. This is functionality with the amazing signal R. And uh, that should be it. Okay, before we start, I made a slight error here. Uh, change this because I copied straight up. So instead of off me in response, change this to re off me in response inside of re me function. And then right here, instead of just making this equal to user, let's make it equal to that without user. And we'll do the same thing. Down here. So. Start this first. I'm going to delete all the connections. Uh, delete the local storage from this window and delete the local storage from the other window do a refresh on both of them 
so now we can start fresh this is just a basic incognito and this is just a normal window so they don't share the same cache so you can use the different users so user one pass one user two pass two uh, you can see how welcome john smith he sees mary james and then welcome mary james he sees john smith that's all good we refresh right there watch how as i refresh this window he pops in and out from this one but we'll see you right back on and then uh, log out and i give an error meth does not exist well that's not good Basically, the method is the same. Uh, uh, method is actually very similar to the on disconnect. We're removing all the connections where the person ID matches. We're saving that, sending logout response to the user, and notifying the other users that somebody got logged off. So let's try that again. I'm gonna start this, and I'm gonna refresh here. Okay, refresh that, refresh that, everything works. Log out. They got pop, popped out. User 2, press 2, pop, pop back in. And that all works. I hope everything's clear. Once again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And I hope you have the good rest of the day. Thank you for watching.